Ladies and gentlemen, today I am taking you to Tuscany ho -ho, with a chicken cacciatore, a classic Tuscan dish that is gonna bring happiness into your belly. This is done the real Italian way just for you. Let's make it together. This delicious video has been brought to you by NordVPN and I'm very passionate to introduce you to this magical deal. Just click on the link nordvpn.com slash Vincenzo Splate. To make chicken cacciatore for a family size, we need four chicken drumsticks, so nobody fights for it, one each. About five chicken wings and five chicken thighs. Then I've got beautiful homemade tomato sauce, you can use one bottle of passata from the shop. Extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of rosemary. Then we need one celery stick chopped into small pieces, one half onion chopped into small pieces, two nice carrots chopped into small pieces, a nice bunch of parsley, again chopped into small pieces, a nice glass of red wine, two cloves of garlic and salt and pepper. Simplicity, that's all you need. I know some people like to use olives. You can use olives, but what I'm making today is the most traditional uh, way of making chicken cacciatore. If you wanna add mushrooms, olives, or zucchini, you feel free to do it, nothing wrong with that. First thing to do, we're gonna put about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a nice casserole dish. I like to use casserole dishes for pollo alla cacciatora because it's, um, it's nice, it's a slow cooking process in here and we wanna take our time to cook the chicken cacciatore. You have to take your time so the chicken will become nice, moist and full of flavors. Now the oil is nice and warm. What we do, we're gonna put the pieces of meat in there. So we want to braise the meat, okay? So make sure you put the meat in there. You can spread it around for the wings. You wanna brown both sides. It's an important step, guys, to brown the meat, you know, to do this. Very important step. What I wanna add right now is the garlic, okay? But what I wanna do with the garlic is, I, I keep the skin on, and just wanna smash it, okay? I wanna get all these flavors to go in there, okay? I want, I want these flavors to infuse with the oil and with the chicken. So I'm just gonna place the garlic in here and here. Oh, and the flavors are really coming out because of this technique that we use. The good things about this casserole is that it's a slow cooking process. You don't wanna cook on a high heat. Everything has to be on a medium low heat. And the food always tastes better when it's low cooked. Now let's put the lid on. And what we're gonna do is not only we help to keep all the flavors in there, but we also uh, keep it moist and all the, all the steam stays in there, which is very important for the cooking of the chicken. After a few minutes, we go and check. Still not brown, but it is cooking a little bit more. Let's have a look in the middle here. Mmm, I can smell the garlic. Can you smell the garlic, guys? Can you smell the garlic? Mm, it's beautiful flavor. Just turn it around. Now we cook the other side before we are going to add our ingredients. Okay, now let's put the lid on and cook for 10 more minutes before we add the ingredients. Okay, let's have a look what happens after 10 minutes. Let's open this. Let's have a look. Oh, here it is. Ooh, yum. The smell, it's sensational. The smell that comes from, out from this. Oh, mmm, nice smell. This is my favorite way to eat chicken. I love it, chicken cacciatore. Now, I think it's nice and moist. The meat is cooked on both sides. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add all the ingredients. So quickly move everything around. As you can see, the chicken is shrinking a little bit, okay? So it's a good thing, you know? You got more space now for the ingredients. Now, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put the carrots, just everywhere. The onion, you want the onion to go everywhere. And the celery. And as you can see, I also kept the leaf on the celery because the celery is the cousin of parsley, okay? So you do want that. It's full of flavors. Spread it everywhere. 
So yeah, after about 10 minutes, this is what we get. The vegetables are softer, so it's easier for us to move them around, just like this. Just turn everything around. Can you see the juice that is being created by the chicken? There's a beautiful juice there. And that's called flavors. Flavors that you really want. Okay, now here we go. Look at that. Look how we swapped everything. The vegetables from the top now are at the bottom. And this is where the magic begins, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the flavors are coming in. What we're going to do now is we are going to add the rosemary. Okay, so I'm going to put the rosemary in there. Just in there. We're going to put a glass of red wine, okay? It's very important to put the red wine. It's so important for flavors. And don't worry if you don't drink alcohol. The wine, the alcohol is evaporating, okay? If you don't want to use wine, maybe use chicken stock or just use water. But the wine is such an important ingredient for this recipe. And it will evaporate very, very soon. Again, what I like to do, I want to keep the flavors in there. So I am covering this again and let it cook until the wine evaporates. Okay, now let's check, let's check. Mm, look at the beautiful color there. See the wine is giving the color to the meat. It's beautiful. Let's turn this around. And what we do now, no more lead for a while, okay? Let's get this wine to, to leave the casserole. We don't want the wine in there anymore. The wine did the, the job, but very important job. Let's mix everything together. The smell is so good. You will only understand when you make this. And then you can say, oh yes, I can smell it too. And I understand. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I think the wine evaporated into my nose, went into my brain, and now I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm not true, not true, I'm kidding. Now, what we do now, as you can see, I want you to see this. See, it is runny liquid because of the liquid is from the, from the chicken, okay? But the wine, it's gone. This is the time where you can put the sauce, okay? Because the wine, it's gone. So, let's put the sauce in there. This is Filippo sauce all made with love and look how beautiful it is come and have a look come and have a look look how thick how real how all made this is okay you can buy the passata from the shop go for it but if you can make a small batch of sauce at home it will taste so much better oh my god look how beautiful look how beautiful let's squeeze what's left in the bottle to make sure it comes out mm -mm -mm. perfect and now let's move the sauce around everywhere so let's move the chicken again turn turn we want now the sauce to go at the bottom and to make love with all those beautiful ingredients all of them all of them yeah right here beautiful now we're gonna be generous with the salt I didn't use any stock here, okay? So basically, you do need the salt. We do need the salt, so be generous with your salt. Be generous with the pepper. Mm-hmm, be very generous. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put a sprinkle, a little bit of parsley. Even though basil is so much better with sauce, I always say that, but for this recipe, we need the parsley, guys, okay? We do need the parsley. Let's stir this again so the parsley goes everywhere. And then what we have to do, guys, we have to slow cook it for about 20 minutes. Fantastic. 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 Bellissimo. Buonissimo. Mamma mia, the flavors. And now all we have to do now is to wait. See you in about 20 minutes. After about 10 minutes, let's check the, what's happening in here. Okay, so we can remove the rosemary stalk. We don't need it anymore. That can go. This can go. The flavors are in there. Thank you, rosemary, for bringing the flavors. And I think we've got 10 more minutes, and then we're ready to serve. 
Look how beautiful it is. Look at these beautiful sauce. The garlic can be removed. If you find the garlic, this is the time to remove it. We don't need the garlic. Unless you love it and you eat it. Okay. Oh my God, look at this. Coming off the bone. Look at this one. It's coming off the bone. Wow. Coming off. This is going to be so moist and full of flavors. What we're going to do now is no more lead. We leave it like this, no lead. So that way the sauce will thicken a little bit more and it will be tastier. I have good news. The chicken cacciatore is ready. Come and have a look. Look how beautiful it looks. Look at that. All we have to do now is to put some more parsley for decoration. Let's make it look prettier and then we can enjoy our meal. Oh, look at this. Look at this sauce. It's calling us it's saying, eat me, please. Eat me. I am a big fan of NordVPN. Anche tu, nonna? Sì. <laughs> and I'm very proud because they sponsored this video. If you don't know what they do, listen here. They do a lot to make your internet experience safer and to give you access to anything you like. Before signing to NordVPN, I was not able to watch Food Network USA. Now, thanks to NordVPN, I can watch Food Network USA so I can react with Nonna. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Nonna and I now can react. Hey, <laughs> Nonna, sei pronta? Sono <laughs> Two things you need to keep in mind. With NordVPN, your internet data stays safe anywhere you go. And with one account, you can connect NordVPN to up to six devices. Amazing. These are just two examples, but all you have to do now is to go to nordvpn.com slash Vincenzo's Plate. Look at the deal. Yeah, two years membership deal. That's a very, very good price. <laughs> very good. Plus, you get a one month free subscription and you get 30 days money guaranteed. But honestly, you do need this in your life. Even Nonna is online in these days and she needs to be protected. Is vero, Nonna? Yeah, on WhatsApp, is. Facebook. <laughs> so, yeah. come on, what are you waiting for? Yeah, get up here. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> It's time now to serve this wonderful, wonderful chicken cacciatore. And let's put it in the plate. Hello, chicken. Let's get the thighs. Actually, my, the thighs is my favorite part. It's so nice and moist. Here's the chicken wing. Hello, chicken wing. And now let's put the sauce on top. All over it. Mm -hmm. Hello, sauce. Hello, beautiful sauce. Guys, the last thing we need to do is to have some nice bread because we are gonna clean the plate with the bread, okay? Now, let's try. Let's see how moist this chicken is. Mmm, comes off the bone. Yeah, beautiful. Let's get some sauce. Look at this. Mm. Are we gonna eat this together? Do mm. you want this too? Ready? Mmm, mmm, melts in your mouth, full of flavors. It's a, it's a beautiful mm, explosion of flavors in my mouth. It's so delicious. The chicken, of course, is the queen of the dish, but everything else around the chicken is just perfect. Beautiful Tuscan dish. The smells are beautiful. What else do you want? You want something delicious, slow cooked, in less than one hour? This is what you make, guys. This is perfect. It's a great dish. Anytime, anywhere, right now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is the most beautiful part, chicken thighs. Mmm, 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 mmm. -hmm. Even more moist than a drumstick. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Please make it and enjoy it. What are you waiting for? The question is, what wine are we serving with this? Mm? Red or white? What do we do with the bread now? I'll show you. So we cut a piece of bread, 
and we clean the plate. This is what we do now with the bread, see? We soak all the juice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mmm, and have it, and enjoy it. Mmm. Mmm, 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 Guys, I need to keep eating this because this is so delicious. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Oh, see you guys. Thank you. <laughs> you make me laugh, Mason. Oh, okay.